Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanali the Dawn. I remain your host, Chad Fury 333 and this last match will be between Steel Blue and Gaiop on Avalanche. So Gaiop, I haven't really seen much other than the stuff to do with Ludum Dare, which they've been doing a lot of stuff for Spring Engine. And Steel Blue, oh, they haven't played in a long time. So unfortunately, I don't really have a whole lot to say about the players. The map itself, Avalanche, is pretty familiar. I mean, you're going to be seeing the players, probably folks in the center. Maybe someone will go to the southwest. I don't know if people are going to go to the northeast. Usually that's not, I don't know. This is a bit of a, actually, it's like 1800, 1900 Hello game, so they might. They might go to the northeast. But as we can see, Sky Up already taking that center area. Steel Blue, the Shield Pod Factory is probably going to be able to pierce through these daggers, no problem. And Scalpels, as always. Although, Shieldbot versus Hovercraft is a little bit easier. I mean, for one thing, you have bandits. You can just rush in with bandits and deal with the scalpels that way. And, of course, the other thing is shield... Well, shields take a bit of a beating. Although, it's actually bad. Scalpels do well against that. So, you got to be careful with those. And, otherwise... Well, that worked. That was a good start. So, Steel Blue starting out quite nicely. Guy up. With a bit of a better economy to start with, but not super army focused. Although Steel Blue yet to build up any constructors. A little surprised at that. There we go. Oh, no, no, that's a thug, not a convict. Why no constructor, Steel Blue? Looks like Steel Blue is going to be going for a bit of a rush. They are level 1 commander. Okay. No big deal, but yeah, I'm thinking they're going to be going for a bit more of an aggressive opening this time around. Just because they're not really doing much other than that. I mean, Steel Blue has... Yeah, they're going to the northeast. They already have their constructor set up, their quill. And a bunch of maces coming up, so that'll deal with the bandits, no problem. Although, at this point, this is actually... Ooh! The bandits have, like, 20 seconds to rush in. And Steel Blue's going for it. Guy up actually is going to get hit really hard. The mace will... Pr oh, wow, actually, not even 20 seconds. It's indefinite. Yeah, they get rid of... Oh, ah! Went away too soon. I mean, with only one Lotus and one Scalpel, those bandits could have just rushed in and dealt a ton of damage. And now that mace is going to be finished up, and now it's too late. So much for that. Although, Thug Outlaw is still a decent choice. That, not necessarily the best choice, but it will work okay. Like, the mace makes things complicated. And the Scalpel, I mean, the shields against Scalpel works all right, but the problem, of course, being that shields... I mean, they take the punishment... But they're also easy targets. But I guess against homing weapons, it doesn't really matter. Mace, however, is still the problem. But yeah, Mace complicates things. But it's also out of position. So at least that's a bit of a mercy for Steel Blue. At this point, though, Steel Blue behind an economy. I mean, Guy up having taken the north, they're in a pretty good position right now. Steel Blue not really focusing on the south too much. Needing to get those bandits out of the way. I'm a bit surprised they aren't taking these bandits up the hill and back around the back to get rid of the daggers. Because you can do that. Like, bots can path along this hill over here. Where they are. Like, it's not clear, but there's a few small sections where bots can actually path up. But nope, the bandits are just running away. Are they even under control? They might have been on fight move. Although, on the other hand, this also worked. Because now the... Okay, what does guy up know right now? Okay, Guy Up does see him on radar. But the mace is behind them, so they actually have a bit of a clear shot at the main base. <sighs> They're probably going to be able to deal some damage to the wind generators. Although that defender is going to be a problem. So the defender will take care of one. Scalpel will take care of the next. And the last one, it should be able to get rid of a, I don't know, two or three wind generators, maybe. The mechs is not the best idea. The wind generators are a great idea. There we go. Get rid of the wind gens. Get rid of the wind gens. And that's... Ah, too much. Not able to dodge that, unfortunately. So not really the best harassment. Oh, that was a nice little deke on the, on the mace there. I mean, that was clever. I liked that. Too bad it didn't actually work out too well in practice. At this point, Guy Up is still way ahead economically. Steel Blue, on the other hand, they're actually having a hard time maintaining what territory they started with, let alone the middle of the map. So, I don't really see this working out super well. Although, in this case, well. Thug out, at least slowing down. Oh, right, slow down reload time, too. 
So these scalpels are actually going to have a really tough time. But at the same time, all the shields going down is not a good thing. So overall, Steel Blue, they're just falling behind. They're really falling behind. If they had built a Convict earlier on, that would have given them a lot of leeway. They could have easily gone to the south. They still should. I mean, they can't easily now that the mace is in the middle of that area, but they could have gone south, taken this entire area over to the south. This whole expansion area could have been theirs, and now it's kind of too late, which really sucks for them. Guy up with the northeast. I mean, they've got a pretty solid economic, ba economic base. They don't even have this area taken back. Why do they not have their main base taken completely back yet? They don't have any quills in their main base. That's the first problem, but yeah, they, they don't need to, almost. Steel Blue has barely managed to build up anything. Which really is unfortunate. Now finally Steel Blue getting some more economy going, but that mace is going to be an issue. And continue to attack the middle, not super effective, unfortunately. If they had bandits alongside this, that would work out beautifully, because the bandits would be the real damage. Like, the thugs would be for protection, the outlaws would be for slowing everything down to just support, just soften everything up, and the bandits would be the actual killer. Thugs just do not have the DPS required to get rid of all this stuff efficiently. But unfortunately, I don't see Steel Blue doing that. So Steel Blue just going pure Thug Outlaw, which is not going to work out. So Guy Up right now, they have pretty much got the center of the map. Trying to mace out the commander, and that's going to work, I think. Oh, wait, no, it's not. The Scalpel... If it survives... Nah, it would take two shots. So the commander... Steel Blue's commander getting out of there. Just barely, but managing to get out of there. That's not great. I mean, it worked, but that was painful. So Steel Blue with a bit of reclaim, that'll help. But I still don't think they have the army composition to deal with what Guy Up's throwing at them. And Guy Up continuing to go just pure scalpel, pretty much. And I'll scalpel Halberd with a bit of dagger. Base is all to the northeast, which should work out effectively, but at the same time, that leaves everything wide open. Steel Blue is wide open. Guy Up taking advantage of this completely, because Guy Up knows. Guy Up totally knows. I mean, they can see what's happening. They know what's happening. They know what's up. They know that they basically can just walk in to Steel Blue's base. There's nothing to really stop them. Like, Steel Blue has got nothing to stop Guy Up right now. Everything that Steel Blue had to stop Guy Up has been moved totally out of position. It's completely open. And that's... That's going to be really hard to deal with. The two halberds. Ooh, two halberds getting around the behind enemy lines. I mean, the shield ball closed up, but still, those halberds getting in is going to be a big problem. Guy Up with a bit of an energy deficit right now. And... I, what the heck? I, oh, for crying out loud, did that seriously crash? Okay, so apparently there's a bug with... What the heck is going on? Sorry, I don't know what's going on. Why spectator panels just... Great. Great, so something's broken between... All right, well, I apologize, but I can't do anything about that right now. That sucks. What the hell? Uh, I apologize. Use deluxe player list for now. Not the best thing in the world, but at least we can see what the economies look like. What the oh, yeah, right. So Lulu, I reload would be a thing. This is... Ah, come on. Okay, so that bug that I mentioned before about, about inputs being lost... That still happens. That hasn't gone away. Okay, good. There we go. That was really weird. I guess I don't need a Luxe player list anymore. I'm gonna have to info log that. Ugh. Sorry about that. Really sorry about that. I hate when those technical bugs happen. Technical glitches happen, whatever it is. I don't know what's going on sometimes. I've mentioned before I don't really like Lua as a language. Makes it really hard to figure what's going on in code. Anyway, surprisingly, Steel Blue actually managing to push through with the shield ball pretty effectively. That 
Those maces got destroyed down here, over to the south by the commander, and not much has really taken their place. So while I would really recommend some bandits to actually deal the real damage, this is working out okay for now. For now. There appear to be enough thugs to actually deal with things. <sighs> Guy up on the other hand, they have the economic advantage. They have their energy up. They're going to be able to rebuild that army no problem. I mean, basically, Steel Blue has to not lose anything and tear apart Guy up's army every single time they meet. Every single time. Good start, mind you. That was actually a pretty good start, getting rid of that part of the army so far. Really tearing it to shreds. Steel Blue right now. Wow, that's... That's doing some impressive work. Guy up's commander. I guess there are just enough thugs and outlaws at this point. I mean, they don't need the bandits anymore. Still think they needed it earlier on, but they don't need it now. And Guy up. I mean, they could be just completely crushed. They could be completely flattened at this point. I don't know why... Constably, why are you not dealing with this? There's the base right there. It's a juicy base you can just walk up to and deal with. And that will basically be the game, I think. Yep, just about. So, that's it. Steel Blue takes it. Well done, Steel Blue. They actually turned that around. I'm impressed. I wasn't really sure if that would work because we saw earlier Gaiap just had a massive economic advantage there, and that was... That was a big deal. But no, it looks like that's not a problem. Steel Blue was able to just thug law ball that out completely of the park. I'm just surprised. Thug law ball that out of the park. That's what I wanted to say. So, that was game. Impressive. I mean, people were pointing out maces would have done well. Yeah, they probably would have, but there weren't any. So, oh well. Good to know, though, and I think maces probably would be pretty effective. But that's how it went down. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. That is going to be it for me tonight. So, like I said, thanks again for watching. Also, there is a tournament coming up in a few weeks. Sword Tales starting up a tournament. I'm not sure if this is going to be a monthly thing like the old tournament series, the old one-day tournament series that ran for a couple years. But it's going to be Swiss style for the first four rounds. It's 2v2. So the first, I think, four rounds probably will be Swiss style. And then there'll be an elimination bracket for the top four from the Swiss bracket. Now, I don't know if it's going to be double or single elimination. Right now, it looks like single. I really want it to be double because I'm always in favor of double, and I've mentioned in the thread why. Don't know if it's going to change, but it is Swiss to begin with, and then elimination for the top four, which is a pretty good system. And that's a good way to set up a tournament. People get to play a lot of games. You get to work out kind of who would be in the bracket and have relatively even matches, and then it just becomes... And all the matches are relatively even because Swiss works that way after the first match. So yeah, that should be fun for everyone. So go check that out. It's on the forums. It'll be the first Saturday of April, the first weekend of April. April 2nd. So that's in a couple weeks. I'll be casting that. So keep an eye out for when that happens. But until then, and actually until probably Tuesday, because I'll be doing more casts, should get my sleep schedule back to normal. Until next time, have a good night, everyone.